Hey guys, what's up? It's Cyber Ace TV, and welcome back to CyberTech. Now, today we're going to be putting one of the longtime rumors to rest. Uh, for years and years, people have been making all kinds of rumors about the Verizon iPhone coming from AT&T to Verizon. And now, Apple is finally uh, giving some support to the Big Red. Now, today there was a keynote in uh, New York City at the Lincoln Center uh, where Verizon presented the iPhone for Verizon. Now, uh, we have been speculating this would be around for a long time. Uh, at first, we all thought that it would come at CES. It did not. Uh, the Verizon's 4G LTE stuff kind of took over at CES. Then this mysterious conference showed up, and we all kind of knew that it was going to be the Verizon iPhone that was being announced. So, the Verizon iPhone is announced now. It is not on the 4G LTE network, which is a disappointment to me. However, it is on Verizon's CDMA network, and it also has an improved head design, so it's kind of different from the iPhone 4 and AT&T. So, if you're making the switch to Big Red, there's a chance that you, uh, the buttons are off a tiny bit, and you might not be able to use your same case. However, I'm sure all the manufacturers will get right on making some cases that will fit your Verizon iPhone as well. So. Uh, yeah, it, like I said, it's on Verizon CDMA network, which though isn't quite as good as uh, their LTE 4G network, um, will probably still might be a lot more supportive than AT&T, and hopefully Verizon will be offering unlimited data plans on these as well. One downside is that you cannot use voice and data at the same time like you could on the GSM network with AT&T. However, that's not really something big, and it probably isn't something that would keep me from going to Big Red. So, uh... It's probably a big step up on Apple's part, and now that they have it on two different networks, I'm sure they'll bring in a lot more money, and I really hope that Verizon is able to uh, handle the iPhone a lot better than AT&T was. As you can see, they had to make it so that you couldn't even have unlimited data because they were having problems with it, and plus we had that little issue with the antenna, not to bring up old stuff, but we did, and we can't forget that. Hopefully now with this redesigned antenna for the CDMA network, the whole how you hold it won't affect your call quality. Other than the actual network itself, there's not much different between the phones. They are both the same, they both look the same except for a slight uh, change because of uh, the antenna is different. So you can see a slight change like a little notch on the AT&T phone and not one on the CDMA phone. Other than that, they have identical specs. Now, whether or not uh, they will be phasing out support for AT&T soon, I have no idea. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I think for the next year or maybe a couple, they'll stay with AT&T, and from there, I'm not sure where they're going. Uh, I'm not really sure if Verizon's aiming to stick with one network or go to a mall eventually. Not really sure, but I'm looking forward to seeing what Apple will do with these two networks, and I'm looking forward to seeing uh, how they improve the iPhone being on Verizon instead of AT&T. Also, the C FO, I believe it is, of Verizon also stated that the iPad will be coming to Verizon as well. So that's definitely something to look out for. Uh, I could definitely see the Verizon, I mean the iPad being on Verizon, uh, it would make a lot more sense too because they have uh, right now the Wi-Fi model with a built-in MiFi thing and it's just not doing I'd rather have the actual 3G on Verizon or in this case it'd be great to see 4G LTE built into the iPad. Uh, that'd be pretty cool. So, I'm Cyber Ace TV. The Verizon iPhone is here. You can also um, pre-order it starting February 3rd if you're a Verizon customer, and if you're not, starting the 10th of February. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.